Hello and welcome back to Animal Based In Your Face with Scott and Pam. Today we're going to be in the kitchen making egg bites. A lot of people like to make the bigger egg muffins, but today we're going to make egg bites that are perfect for a grab and go, snack, or meal. If you're running out the door to work and you need something quick, you can pre-make these, keep them stored in the refrigerator in an airtight container for three to four days. They also freeze great and reheat. So let's get our ingredients together and then we can start cooking. Before we go over the ingredients for this recipe, let's go over the few things that you're going to need to make this. First off, you're gonna need a food processor or blender. Either's fine, they both work the same. We actually have a blender that has a pour spout on it. That's nice. But for this recipe, I want to use my food processor because it has a pour spout and it's easier to control to put them in these little bitty muffin tins. You can choose either muffin tin for this recipe. I'm going to be using the mini ones just because they're small. They're great for bite size. You can add them to any meal. You can add protein. You can eat a carnivore waffle and have a few on the side. You can also use the big muffin tin if you prefer. So either is fine. Now let's go over to our ingredients for today. You're going to need six pasture-raised eggs. We use the pasture-raised. If you don't, that's okay. You're gonna need a half a cup of cottage cheese. Now we use the Daisy because it has clean ingredients. You'll need a half a cup of shredded cheese. We only use the block cheese that we shred ourselves because it has clean ingredients and it leaves all the bad ones out. So I have shredded a half a cup of mild cheddar. You can absolutely use Swiss or Gouda, smoked Gouda, any kind of cheese you love. Um, you can change them up, mix them, however you wanna do it. You're gonna need a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper. I already have mine mixed. And then you're gonna need a protein of your choice if you are adding an additional protein. I do have homemade sausage, but I'm not using it today. If I were, it would need to be pre-cooked to make these. But this recipe is on our YouTube channel and it is very, very good. Today I'm going to be using bacon. We actually deep fry our bacon and use the Dr. Ken Berry method. We cook it in a pot on the stove. You can also find that recipe on our YouTube channel. So today I went ahead and I cut up a lot of bacon and it's pre-cooked and crispy. So whatever protein you want is great. You could even do chicken, turkey, anything that you like. Now let's get to mixing these ingredients so we can start making our egg bites. Okay, let's start mixing our ingredients. If you're using a food processor like me, you want to use your processing blade. Now mine comes with two different sizes because I have two different cups. So I'm using my big container on the bottom and I'm putting the large processing blade in there. Next, we're gonna start just dumping our ingredients. What you're not going to dump is your bacon or your sausage or the protein that you're using. You're gonna leave this sitting to the side. Everything else is going to be mixed and your food processor or your blender. First, we're gonna start with our eggs. We have six eggs. We're just gonna pour these in. Next, we're gonna dump in our half a cup of cottage cheese. You don't know how fun this is one-handed. Sometimes my husband's here to help me, but today he's at work. And then you're gonna dump in a half a cup of your cheese of your choice. Today I'm using mild cheddar. No cheese left behind is how I look at it. I was born part rat. <laughs> and then you're gonna mix in your half a teaspoon of salt and pepper, which mine is combined. Once all your ingredients are in your food processor, except the bacon or the sausage that you're gonna use, you can go ahead and put the lid on and we're going to blend it until it's a smooth texture. Now on my processor, I have a pulse 
and a start. I'm just gonna push the pulse so I can kind of control how much we're mixing it. Once your cheese and cottage cheese is all whipped up with your eggs and your salt and pepper and it's really smooth, then you can stop and we'll check it. All right, you can see how smooth that is. Let me see if I can get it close. That's how smooth that you want it. Now remember, we have withheld our bacon that I'm using today. If you're using sausage, remember all of it needs to be pre-cooked, whatever you're gonna put in it. If you're eating them plain, then you're not gonna need this. If anyone is curious why there is maple syrup on my counter where I'm making this recipe, it's because there is two options well, really three. You can do no maple syrup at all in this recipe. Now, I'm not going to add maple syrup to mine today because we are being pretty strict on carbs right now. It's not that I'm not doing any carbs. We do about 20 or less a day. But if you're using in two tablespoons of organic maple syrup, you can see there's 25 carbs and there's 26 grams of sugar. Well, that's okay because it's natural and it's part of an animal-based diet. So what I like to do, and I'll show you at the end of this video, is instead of putting it in the recipe when I'm watching my carbs, I just like to put a little bit on my plate or in my container so I can decide, you know, how much maple syrup I wanna dip my muffin in. Or if I don't want any maple syrup for the day, then it's not in the mix. But I will tell you, I've had them with maple syrup dipped in them and they're delicious. It would also be great if you wanted to put a little bit of maple syrup in your mix. You decide, but we're not gonna add it today. Before I fill my mini uh, muffin bite tin with the egg mixture, I choose to put a little butter in each of mine. We're animal-based, so we eat about 70% fat, 30% protein. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. If you use something else, that's fine. But for us, we just, um, we love butter, ghee, tallow, bacon grease. Those are the things that we love and cook with. So I'm just taking a little silicone brush and I'm just filling them all up with butter, just lightly lining them. Because butter makes everything better. All right, I'm gonna finish uh, buttering these and then next we're gonna go ahead and pour our mixture in our pan. Now the reason I like to do it in my food processor is because of this little spout right here. It's easy and the blenders have it too, but it's real easy to control, you know, your speed and how much you're pouring. You're going to want to fill your muffin tin holes about three fourths full because we're going to be adding bacon. You could be adding sausage and they will puff up a little bit. I do like this because the cottage cheese makes them fluffier and not so dense. So let's start pouring. Let's see how good I am if I can do this in video at the same time and not make a mess. Just pouring it real slow. Oh, look at that, I did it. And go into the next one. If you pour it fast, you're gonna have a mess all over your counter. Remember, three-fourths full, approximately. As you can see, my container is pretty much empty and I have filled 24 mini egg bites. Next, we want to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. We're gonna preheat our oven. Now mine has a quick preheat, which is an awesome feature. It heats it up really fast. If you're getting close to sticking them in or you can just use the regular preheat. But while that's heating up, Next, we're gonna start sticking our, if you're using sausage or ground turkey, turkey bacon, whatever you're using, you're gonna go ahead and take it. It needs to be small crumbled pieces. And we're gonna go ahead and just take a pinch or you know, do as much as you want. I love me some bacon, let me tell you. And then you're just gonna start dropping it in, okay? And there's no rule here, just do what you like. And I like a lot, so I'm gonna pile it in there. And then I'm gonna continue on. 
Now I'm probably gonna leave a few of mine without bacon, just in case I wanna pop some egg bites and have some crunchy bacon on the side or some of my homemade sausage. So let's go ahead and start putting our protein in our egg mixture. Our oven is preheated. I went ahead and added an eighth of a teaspoon, which isn't much, of maple syrup, just because I do love it. I didn't put it on all of them, but I took an eighth of a teaspoon and I drizzled it across the top of three. And then I just kept going. Now I didn't do them all. I just did most of them. And then I did some without maple syrup. And then I also left some plain. That way I can just have sausage or bacon on the side. I can put it with carnivore waffles. You can find a lot of recipes on our YouTube channel that I'm talking about. So be sure to check that out. Also, I want to let you know that these do freeze great. They freeze really good if you wrap them in saran wrap tightly. You can do aluminum foil. And then I'd put them in an airtight container or a freezer bag. They will freeze for up to a month. Or you can keep them in your refrigerator, like I mentioned earlier, for three to four days. They're easy to reheat in the toaster oven, the oven. You can even put them in the microwave, but I would be careful doing that. If you overcook them, they might explode. <laughs> so you might have a mess. Let's put these in the oven. It's been 10 minutes. They're done. They're getting a nice little brown on them. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out of the oven. Now I got my cooling rack out. You don't have to use one of these, but I have them and I use them quite a bit. Let's look at our muffins. The ones that have nothing on them, got a nice little brown going on with them. Here's our bacon ones. Now, some of these have some of that maple syrup. You might be able to see a little bit on some of them. Others you can't. I'm gonna let these cool for just a few minutes. While these are cooling off, I went ahead and took one out just to show you. Now they do come down just a little bit as they're cooling. And then when you put them in the fridge, they'll probably shrink a little bit more. But let's cut one open and look at the inside. Here's the inside. Look at all that yummy bacon I put in there. Looks great, gonna be so good for grab and go breakfast. We have such busy schedules. I did wanna say, if you used to eat, or you still eat the McDonald's, McGriddles, oh my gosh, when I used to eat bad fast food, that was one of my favorites. Well, when you put a little bit of that maple syrup in it or on it, or you can even, sorry, you could even dip it in maple syrup, it reminds me so much of that, just a healthier option, much healthier. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Be sure to follow us on YouTube on Animal Based in Your Face. Subscribe, click the notification button. That way you're notified when we put out new recipes and we do put out new recipes several times a week. You can also find us on Facebook in a Facebook group that's private called Animal Based in Your Face Tribe. Until next time.